It's New Year's Day and my beautiful wife Deirdre and I, I gotta say beautiful because it gets me brownie points, driving to Red Rock Canyon. We're here in Las Vegas and I'm gonna do a ride, just a one hour easy spin through the Red Rock Canyon loop. She's gonna do a run and show you the scenery. We're gonna tell you a few of our New Year's resolutions. Be a better cyclist, to be a better person, not to be a punk ass bitch. Look at this, you have to have reservations to come into Red Rock and we don't have any reservations. So it puts you into this lane with no reservations and then just spits you back out. So you can't get in. So I think what we're gonna do is park on the side of the road somewhere, ride in and then I'll show you what's going on. Cause I can't see them stopping us on bikes and if we're running, I, bought, I have a card that I bought like a yearly card that gets you into any park any national park. So we're gonna see what happens here. It's crazy that this is like, I find still two years later, every day I go somewhere or do something and it's every something sold out or what happened. You know, it's just, se things just seem to be so much more difficult because of COVID. But this is about cycling. It's a cycling channel. We're not talking about COVID. Let's, uh, let's get into the park. Let's see what happens. All right, let's go. So, there's what I'm talking about with the reservations. So we'll see if they let me through. Uh, I don't have a reservation, but I don't have a car. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, happy new year. Hi. Hi. Do I need a reservation? No, do you have a pass? <laughs> I do. Okay, show me. I bought one. Awesome. I'm happy I bought them. Yeah, because then you're just riding I, on. I wasn't happy when I bought it, but now I'm happy. Now you're going to be happy. Hopefully it's the right pass. Absolutely. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you, too. Be safe. I'm happy I got my bike. There you go. Bye. 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 It's like 40 degrees, and it's freezing that's really cool i got let in obviously it's the cars they're worried about too many cars on the trail but it's really interesting about the reservations i never heard of that before and i would love to hear what you guys think about that with the reservations and uh obviously what i think it is and i'm just guessing here so leave in the comments if you know why it's so busy but i got a feeling that all the people that were going to travel internationally that didn't because of covid came to las vegas or stayed local because I've been here on New Year's before and it has never been this busy. I've never seen Las Vegas this busy. And I was here for 2016, 2017 New Year's and I would say there were like half the people here. Really interesting to see how much things are changing. But I love this loop. I think it's absolutely awesome. I've done it a bunch of times and it's just so beautiful and you can see here why they call it Red Rock. But let's keep going. I'll show you some more as we get further in. a couple things on my mind today it's New Year's Day and just coming here and thinking about how my, how good of a mood it's put me in just hopping on my bike and seeing this beautiful scenery and that got me thinking it's just because I'm doing something I love I love riding my bike and I think it doesn't really matter what you do but if you find something in your life that you love to do whether that's bass fishing skiing painting, like creating art, singing, I don't know. But if you can find something in your life you love to do, like riding your bike or whatever, I think you're blessed. Because I feel blessed. Cycling's helped me so much. You know, get through some times where I wasn't feeling great.
So as you can see, Red Rock was awesome. We're just driving back to our hotel now. So a couple of New Year's resolutions that I wanted. Number one is I wanna wake up at 7.30 every day or earlier for the first 50 days of the year. What do you think about that? It sounds amazing. <laughs> she loves going to bed early. <laughs> loves sleeping. I hate sleeping. I love sleeping. So good, so good for recovery, right? So that's the main one that I wanna do. And then the second one is just keep a clean, healthy diet, which, you know, we've our diet's probably been really good recently. So if we can just stick to what we're doing, I think we'd be pretty good. Um, but those are the big ones. What about you? What's your... your... Uh, yeah, I think uh, sleep consistency, like keeping my training consistent. Uh, so even if, let's say, there's a day where I don't feel like training, you know, at least do something, even if it's just 30 minutes. And also, like in terms of metrics, you know, I would like to get my 20 minute power up. That's a goal of mine. Um, to what, 250? Well, it's at four watts per kilo now. So I'd like to get up to like 4.2. And how many watts is that? I think it would be that would be about 4 two fifty four point two five two sixty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll hold her to that. It's a big. It's we'll a come big back goal in a couple I've months. And I've trained my ass off. So <laughs> see if these little legs can do it. I think you can. Little big legs. Stay tuned for future videos. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. See you soon. Bye.